animal tissues. Almost all animals are made up of tissues. Tissues are groups of cells that are similar in structure and work together to achieve a particular function. Animal tissues are grouped into four basic types epithelial, nervous, muscle and connective tissues. Let's first look at the epithelial tissue. This tissue covers and protects the internal and external surfaces of the animal body. Epithelial tissue is subdivided into simple squamous, stratified squamous, columnar and cuboidal epithelium based on the shape and function of their cells. The simple squamous epithelium is found in the lining of the alveoli and allows transport of small molecules across the membrane. It is extremely thin, flat and single layered. The stratified squamous epithelium protects areas subject to abrasion and is found in the skin. It is multi-layered. Columnar epithelium acts as an impermeable barrier against any bacteria that could be ingested but is permeable to any necessary ions. It is tall and shaped like a column. Cuboidal epithelium aids in absorption and provides mechanical support. It forms the lining of kidney tubules. It is shaped like a cube. The next tissue type is nervous tissue which consists of a nerve cell or neuron that has a cell body containing the nucleus. The cell body extends and forms specialized cell parts called dendrites and axons. These are nerve cells that help you retract your hand when you touch a thorn. How does this happen? Nerve cells carry messages, that is, the dendrites bring signals to the cell body and the axon transmits the information to the dendrite of another cell. These nerve impulses allow us to move our muscles when we want to, thus retracting our hand. The brain, spinal cord and nerves are all composed of nervous tissue. The third tissue type is the muscle tissues that are responsible for the movement in our body. The three types of muscle tissues are skeletal, smooth and cardiac. The skeletal muscle helps in locomotion and other voluntary body movements. It is made of long fibers with alternate light and dark bands or striations, so skeletal muscles are also called striated muscles. Smooth muscle cells provide involuntary movements such as the contraction of walls. They line the walls of the hollow structures of the body. Smooth muscle cells are found in the intestines and blood vessels. They are spindle shaped, flat, pointed at both the ends and broad at the middle. The cardiac or heart muscles are involuntary muscle cells that contract and relax throughout life. They are cylindrical, branched and uninucleated. The final tissue we look at is the connective tissue that binds and supports body parts and transport materials. Connective tissues are subdivided into blood, bone, ligament, cartilage, areolar and adipose tissue. The blood contains RBC, WBC and platelets that transport gases and other materials to different parts of the body. Blood has a fluid matrix. Bone cells secrete calcium that hardens the bone and supports the main organs of the body. Bone cells are solid. Ligaments function as a connection between bones. They are fibrous and stretchy. Cartilage protects bones by preventing them from rubbing against each other. It is a tough but flexible tissue. Areolar fills the space inside the organs. It is gel-like with both elastic and non-elastic fibers. Adipose tissues store fat molecules. In conclusion, we have seen and understood the types of animal tissues, their subclassifications and their functions. Things to remember Animal tissues are grouped into epithelial, nervous, muscle and connective tissues. Epithelial tissues are subdivided into simple squamous, stratified squamous, columnar and cuboidal epithelium. The three types of muscle tissues are skeletal, smooth and cardiac muscles. 
Cells of the nervous system called nerve cells are specialized to carry stimulus from one place to another within the body.